In the Pyramix 10 mixer, routing signals from the strip to output buses has changed slightly uh, in the manners in which you can get it done. So uh, it's a little video just covering all of the ways in which we can configure this. In, in normal operation, there's not much that needs to be done in the sense that if we pan and bus into a strip and we want that panning effect to follow into those buses, uh, then we actually don't need to do much work at all. Uh, the work comes when we want to alter the way in which that pan occurs. I've now got a surround panner, which is panning into a surround bus, or surround stem, which is then feeding us a surround output bus. That's all well and good if I want to have this mono channel send to all of those outputs. But if I don't, I can mute certain speakers or trim certain uh, bus outputs uh, by clicking on this little button down below pan. And when I bring up this window, it allows me to choose which buses I don't send to. So for instance, a very common thing is to not send to the center channel when you're panning musics or, or, or things that aren't dialogue. So now when I use the panner, you'll notice that I actually just miss the center channel. And if I open this up, you'll actually see the center channel is gone from my user interface. So this is a very handy way to mute speakers, so to speak, uh, within a strip. So the other way that we can configure routing through the mixer is by not using the panner. A good example of this is this 5.1 stem. So let's call this my uh, effects stem. Now I'm going to be sending this into my 5.1 master. And I just want left to go to left and right to go to right and so on and so forth. So I could use the panner for that and I could ensure that everything is dead center and that makes everything go to where it's supposed to go. But that is not the cleanest way to get it done because if I move the panner or, or something happens, then I could upset that routing. So instead of using pan, I'm gonna choose the channel router and every connection to a bus from a strip or a, a group has this selection. Now, when I choose to do this, Instead, I get a routing matrix up. And here you can see that I've got left into left and right into right and center into center and so on and so forth. So there's, a, there's now a, a hard connection between the mix group or the stem and the final mix bus, which makes it a lot cleaner. What it also allows us to do is do a little bit of down mixing as well. So here I've got a stereo bus and I wanna feed my stereo bus with that effects stem as well. Now, if I was panning, I'd sort of pan it forward and try and falsify it a little bit just by placement. But I can actually do this by using the channel router again. So in here now, I can create a down mix. So I'll put in center at minus three into both sides. And there's standard I follow, which is LFE in at minus 12. And LS in minus six into left and minus six RS into right. So by doing that, what I've just done is I've just created a mix so that if I have surround information, that's going to go into the stereo bus as well, allowing me to create a simultaneous 5.1 and stereo mix. So there's using the bus trims and the channel router to configure our routing.